How to prevent cauliflower ear when training jujitsu. So if you're an MMA fighter or you're a tough guy, you might want cauliflower ear. That's great, you look tough. I promise you nobody's gonna mess with you if you have cauliflower ear. But for the other people who don't want it, I'm gonna tell you a couple of good tips on how to minimize the chances of getting them. Number one, wear headgear. Like the wrestlers that you see, they look like kind of Princess Leia. Put them on, you put this chin strap on tight. The only problem with that is it's kind of constricting and if someone gets you in a guillotine, it's probably gonna eventually come off or loosen. It's kind of a pain in the butt between rounds. But that's a really great way to not get it. Sometimes you still get it or sometimes you're not wearing that and you get it, a little bit of bubble, immediately you need to find a needle. So if you go into Walgreens and ask for a needle, they're gonna think you're a drug addict, so you gotta be careful. You just show them and you tell them, hey man, it's not for that, it's for this, and they'll give you some. You stick it in, I'm not a doctor, don't try this at home without supervision, talk to your doctor, but you stick it in a little bit and you drain and all the liquid, sometimes it's like yellow liquid, blood just starts coming out, and then you'll take this little puffiness, it'll go back in to like a normal ear, and then you pull the rest of it out, and then from then on out, for the next two weeks, you wanna put on the Princess Leia. Is. And then once it stops hurting, you can take them off again. It's a very painful process. It hurts. It's annoying. It's frustrating. It's gross. You'll freak out your girlfriend or your wife. It's so worth it. Jiu-jitsu, in my opinion, is so worth it. And if you want to get your jiu-jitsu to the next level, check out my online academy by putting academy in the comments. I'll send you seven free days. Give it a shot.